Hi everyone, it's Brian with Open ROV. Today I felt I would give a preview on a new plugin we have, which is called Dive Alert. Uh, the problem that we have, you know, we've been driving ROVs a long time, um, and we have the telemetry stream that's been showing us a lot of inf or data that's coming from all those sensors. And over time, we've gotten a pretty good feel for what data indicates what types of problems. Um, and so we kind of have this idea that there must be a way to have the robot basically interpret its own telemetry stream and let us, the pilot, know kind of what's going on and what's wrong. So that's what this stream does. It gives alerts based on a lot of data anomalies that the system senses in the telemetry stream. So um, let's go ahead and bring it in. So this is using the fairly new uh, plugin interface that we have, um, which uh, as of this recording, requires you to have your ROV connected to the internet. Um, we have a bunch of different ways you can do that. But here we have the Dive Alerts plugin, so I'm going to go ahead and install that. And once this finishes installing, it's basically going to have us refresh the browser. Cool. All right. Now, in this case, I'm running off a of bench supply, so what's going to happen, um, we're actually going to get an alert that happens pretty quick. Um, boom! There was the first alert. So you heard a couple things there. So um, it turns out that I am running on a bench supply, so I'm actually bypassing the battery tubes, and it's able to find out and say, hey, you know, your battery tubes, um, you're not, not enough current that's being drawn. Um, so that's one of the indications of the warnings. And I can clear this away if I want. And actually, after five minutes or so, if, um, if that is still an issue, it'll actually refire that with that same bang, bang audio sound that you heard a minute ago. So let's go ahead and take a look and see um, what some of the other alerts are that are programmed into the system right now. So this is the test view harness. This is what I use when developing a lot of the uh, UI components. It lets you develop without the node process or the, uh, the controller board or the beetle bone. Um, and so this has the plugin loaded. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send in some kind of fake telemetry stream to uh, start populating information. Um, let me actually go ahead and raise the board temp for a second. So this should be fine. This is your normal telemetry stream. Uh, no big deal. Now what happens is let's say we get a, we were diving and all of a sudden the board temperature goes way down. Well, this system will actually detect that and fire a warning. In this case, notice the color is red, um, which means it's a critical issue. Um, detected rapid internal temp change. This may indicate flooding. So, hey, that's helpful because what's the odds that you are going to be sitting here looking at the telemetry stream and noticing that this board temp number went from went from 38.1 to or from 48.1 to 38.1. Not likely. So. Uh, that's one of the alerts. Um, we can here, let's do another one. We will also go ahead and, um, so battery tubes, if you're doing the same operation on both motor, or, um, well, let me, let me back up. So let's just do battery tube current. Let's say that um, one of our battery tubes floods and we lose, um, lose that tube. What will happen is we'll actually get a zero current draw off that battery tube. Uh, the system will identify that and let us know that um, we're in danger of, uh, of uh, driving in just one battery tube um, and we may want to go and try to figure out what's going on there. Um, let me grab one of the other ones. So speed controllers. Now, this is kind of a good one because your speed controllers, um, if you have the identical operations, in this case if you're just thrusting forward for instance and both motors are both at the same speed, then they should be drawing roughly the same current. And that, this example right now is doing that. But let's say that one of these starts drawing vastly more current for the same operation. All right, now that could be an indication that we have a bearing that's going. It could be an indication of a short in the system. But same type of thing. You're not going to notice that necessarily on the telemetry stream that's flying by. But having it pop up in your face, that could, uh, that could save your ROV. That could save your dive trip. So anyhow, that's, a, that's an overview of um, basically what the uh, alert system looks like. Uh, um, so anyhow, go ahead, 
download it and uh, enjoy.